Oh, this is not a spring chicken. The big surprise is that, oh, the president's jobs program is just like it was before. So who was the surprise for? <laughs> you mean maybe for the people that actually thought it was going to change? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Republicans have shown disrespect for the president by the refusal to break history and allow Obama to speak whenever he wants on the House floor. Yeah, you know, history requires the and the pre, and the press and, and the fact that the sergeant of arms, all the hit, keeper of all everything, says that you must request the speaker of the House's permission to speak before both houses of Congress. Obama did not make that request until after he went to the press and told the press he's calling a joint session of Congress to tell the people his grand jobs program. He he violated the rules of the House of Representatives, like one of the people said, actually said, that, that he cannot be as stupid as he seems to be because he has to know that everybody in the nation knows he picked that night. He could have done it Tuesday night after Labor Day. <coughs> and uh, But he picked that night because he wanted to step all over the uh, Republicans, the thing, here, here's a good one. Obama's people, how they know it was so funny, that we didn't know there was going to be one. Obama's people, before they sent the, out the notice to the press that they were going to do it, contacted the networks and said that uh, you can run the Republican speech before, or debate before I come on. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Before I come, you can change their time to before I come on. Which meant he knew that that was at night, and he said it was. Uh, but their their PR thing is that they're being disrespectful to this this man because he. You know, here's one of them. One of them said because he's a nigger. Mm -hmm. That's what one of the Democrats, one of his supporters said, and they don't. You know how Republican Tea Parties are. They want to hang him from trees. I mean, basically, all they've done is they've done a class warfare bit. They're calling names, and first of all, this was a white guy that said the N word. And white guys, no matter what they are, are not permitted to say that word about black people. Ah, that's right. And Vermont town remains in the dark after Hurricane Irene. Um, I'm going to try. Actually, we can. Rex doesn't. This doesn't have anything to do with the president this time, so you can listen. Rex, did you know that I've lived through floods, I've lived through hurricanes, I've lived through earthquakes, and I've lived through fires. Uh, it's been two to three weeks sometimes before we got all our power back. Mm -hmm. And of the choice of being in a flood, a hurricane, um, or uh, a fire, or an earthquake, I always pick floods because floods are easier to rebuild on from because floods generally destroy everything on a lower level. You throw out the wall board, come in, put new, you know, it doesn't destroy the electrical wiring any. You just throw the stuff out, put new stuff in. It's why they have, you know, People in flood areas have flood insurance because they don't throw the house away, they just throw the interior away. <laughs> and Italy calls for Euro bonds and UK bats a fiscal union. Yeah, okay. The Italy is flat busted. They're, all those countries in Europe are flat busted. And they, I heard him say that they're ready to throw Merkel out. She's lost both houses in, uh, in Germany and she's wanting to spend more money. She got this idea, well, if we spend lots of money, we'll get everything going. France doesn't have any more money to spend. Really? Well, they pumped too much money into fighting in Libya for oil. And uh, Katia, or Kasha, now a hurricane, too early to predict a threat. Yeah, but it's only going to hit where hurricanes generally hit, folks. And so, because it's only going to hit where hurricanes generally hit, they don't really care. But they're used to that. They're used to it. And Time Warner to buy Insight for $3 billion. I mean, okay. Nothing that they've done internet-wise has worked so far, so now they're going to buy something else on the internet. They, okay, they own AOL, and they, they ran, it, ran it from a $500 billion business into, into, I think they gave it away for $20, billion, 20 million. So what they do is they spend $3 billion to buy another social organization they also had in place on, on AOL. That's not bright. Mm. And Dan, who allegedly threw the sun off the cruise, says it was horseplay. Well, and the problem comes is that I've, I, I had little ones, and sometimes when you're playing with the little fellows, you get a little bit too carried away. I mean, my young mm -hmm. ones used to like to be tossed up in the air and be caught. You always had to remember, what if you don't catch him? So what happened? He accidentally threw him over the ship. Oh, he was doing the bit, you know, tossing the little fella up in the air. And what happens is, uh, it's called Newton's Law of Motion. 
if you toss something here and, it's, mm -hmm. and you're going that way, guess what happens? It's over here. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. It tosses here. Oops! And that's... Yeah. Did he really fall off the cruise ship? Yeah, tossed him overboard oh. because of the Newton's Law of Motion. Okay, here it is. Oh my okay. God! Here we'll use Rex. We're going to toss... Mad Bull is going to get tossed up in the air. If we toss Mad Bull up in the air, when the boat is here, the boat, okay, here is the boat is here, and guess what? Mm-hmm. There ain't anything there anymore. Apparently he was too close to the edge. Yeah, but you can't do that. You've got you to play horse, but you got to play it inside the uh, rails of the ship, not by the railing. Um, that's just called... Yeah, but they don't think, though, about... Uh, that's just stupidity. Okay, here's the problem is, that's why they're not gelling people. Uh, okay, there is no law against a parent being stupid. Because that's just a stupid thing. Stupid. They and should know. And that, not, that person's going to live with the guilt the rest of their life. Yeah, I mean, but the trick is, is though, every parent that ever lived did something stupid. They always do. Okay, oh. it just works the same way. I mean, <clears throat> you know, like uh, you, like the home alone. That does happen to every parent. They'll go out the door. They'll be thinking of stuff, and they'll leave a kid in the house. They generally immediately go back. But everybody does something stupid. You know, like you go to the bathroom and you sit outside, and while you turn around, the kid walks mm -hmm. by you. That's why you have a tendency of seeing lots of little kids with parents in bathrooms. Mm -hmm. And National Oil Well pens $1.5 billion Brazil supply deal. Oh, yeah. It, it would have been our money. And so, what happened? It was our money, but our money, that company was here, but because of Obama, they left the country. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's our money being spent in Brazil to bring oil to the United States. We're actually, we're building the rigs, we're drilling, the, we're drilling down, and we're supplying all the piping and everything to purchase oil from Brazil when we have the Gulf of Mexico where we can do it ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Isn't can that we, smart? Can we, I know, okay, I have to say, can we say this president is not long for the world presidency of this nation? <laughs> Man dives into moving Jeep after driver blacks out. Uh, there are things you should do, things you should not do. Jumping into a moving vehicle while it's going down the road is one of those things you should never do. Because uh, the trick is, what if you miss? I mean, I, I, I have this thing too, like, I used to do, when I was younger, I would do dumb things, you know, I would dumb stunts, like jump from one building over to a tree, and then it never dawned on me, what happens if I miss? And President Obama proposes four rules from the EPA and three rules from the DOT, DOT for new rules on business for uh, $1 billion. Oh yeah, basically it's going to cost... <clears throat> this man, no less than 12 days ago, said, if you have rules that you don't think are right, we'll sit down and talk about them. Well, let's see, they're, they just put 400,000 fishermen out of work with their new rules. They're getting ready to put more people out with their new rules. But don't worry, I don't want to tell you this, the unions aren't losing their job. Just anybody that's not union. Well, and the guys just said, yes, as one of the senators said, well, if these people had unionized, they'd have had somebody speaking up for them instead of doing it individually. And then the mm -hmm. guy, the reporter said, yes, but isn't our country made of individuals? He says, but unions have a better voice to, to speak for the little man. So oh. Can we say socialism, folks? And Japan, at cusp of recovery in uh, second quarter, yen clouds outlook. Yeah, the yen, is, the yen is crappy. What happened is the government is printing money like our government is to pay the bills because the country is not making any money, folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, look at Sony. I mean, Sony is going down the toilet. And they, they shouldn't be, but they are. And Dutch Probe uncovers hit, hidden child porn sites in the U.S. I mean, okay, you can't hide a web address. <laughs> it's an impossibility. There's only so many numbers, and what they are is numbers. You can say, okay, www.moneybubble.net, that's actually a series of numbers. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and they run the <coughs> spiders run over these things on a daily basis, so you cannot hide anything. Mm. Yep. And UK Finance Minister urges new global economic strategy the report. Yeah, well, actually, Mad Bull will tell you that was directly aimed at Obama. Because they're, everybody in the world wants this country to stop spending and start paying its bills. And so 
Obama is the only, Obama didn't get the memo from anybody else about stopping spending. And U.S. moves to, to block AT&T, AT&T's purchase of T-Mobile. Oh, brilliant. I mean, you know what it does? It does exactly what he didn't want it to do. T-Mobile needs $25 billion in infrastructure rebuilding. Then they'll just close. Uh, they'll just close. You know what happens when they close? What, what will the three people that are left do with the prices on the cell phones? They'll go up. Well, we're doing this because we have to keep competition. I mean, okay, what looks at it this way? They're going to sue the President of the United States over the loss of money because they got to pay T-Mobile $3 billion also. Oh, they do? Yeah, they're going to sue him. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, if the, you actually think that a person that you elected to office is going to listen to anything that you have to say, you're living in a fantasy world.